Hey guys, I apologize about yesterday, and it was kind of stupid of me just to overreact that much, but, um, yeah, let's try and forget that, and like what the teaser showed you, I will be reviewing Lego Indiana Jones for Wii, the original Avengers, and this is for, um, also Wii and Xbox, since Wii and Xbox Lego games are pretty much exactly the same, except that they go to the different consoles. And so, this game I had in the past for my DS, and then I uh, got rid of it, which means I gave it the GameStop. Then I had it, or got it for my DS and Wii, because I missed playing it, and I was right, because it was an awesome game. And uh, then... After that, I also got an old game I used to play called Lego Indiana Jones The Adventure Continues for my DS. Uh, this is a really awesome game. has a lot of Lego things. Um, kind of boring, though, because it's an old game and everyone's more interested in new things. This game is not that old, though. It's around 2006, 2008. I couldn't find, like, when it came out. I was searching. But, um... It's basically all three Indiana Jones movies and one game. The next uh, Lego Indiana Jones game, The Avenger Continues, has Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but no one really likes that movie. Sorry for those of you who do like it. I am going to be honest with you. I kind of do like it, but let's get back to the game. I always get off topic in my videos. Uh, like I said, it has Raiders of the Lost Ark in it. Um... The Temple of Doom, and The Last Crusade, I think that's what it's called. And it also had some Indians right there being smushed by a boulder, which is the very first mission where you go into the Lost Temple and you run out run out of the temple away from the boulder at the end of the mission. Spoilers, I guess. It's also just has a lot of cool characters you can play. Uh, it, it just... Represented Indiana Jones in a good way. It's affordable. You can get it for about maybe uh, twenty dollars new, probably ten dollars pre-owned. No, you could probably get it a little cheaper than that, maybe eight or something like that for DS and Wii. We, I mean DS, will be cheaper though. But uh, this is a great game. I love it. Uh, it is kind of old. Uh. And that's about it for you guys. Nothing too in depth for you. You do get to play against a lot of Germans, a lot of ancient tribes. You do get to fly vehicles and that kind of stuff. It's very simple. Has all the main Lego uh, features and that kind of stuff you'll see in video games, like little hearts. You have to find studs everywhere. Little like puzzles you have to solve, all that kind of stuff is in this game. But that's about it for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope you have a great day, and see you later.